another story coming your way uh, once upon a time in a village far far away there lived two brothers one was elder in age and the other was significantly younger one day as they were playing they both strayed too far from the village and didn't realize how far they have gone from their home away anyways they were playing now there was the well as well for the water supply of the village somehow the elder of the brothers tripped and fell into the well while he was playing and the younger one was left all alone there to help him out of the well but he didn't have the strength for it he could barely lift a bucket full of water so pulling his brother out of the well was next to impossible but he had no other option but to perform what he was supposed to do and save his brother he had to save his brother's life he started shouting for help but there was nobody around at that point of time in that particular day not thinking anything else he quickly grabbed the water bucket threw the bucket into the well for his brother to grab onto and told him to grab as tightly as possible once his elder brother had got the hold of the bucket he started pulling the rope with all his might that he had in his body he kept pulling and pulling because that's all that mattered at that point until he was finally able to save his brother as they returned back to the village after hugging each other and celebrating about their achievement that particular day they were also a little scared about how to tell their parents in the village and nobody would believe such a story and the important point was they were also a little scared about how to tell their parents or the people of the village about what has happened with them anyways upon reaching in the village nobody believed their story when they told it they all laughed because they knew that there was no way his younger brother would have pulled out his elder brother from the well but someone from the village took their explanation seriously and decided to go before the most wisest man of that particular village so to see whether they were in fact telling the truth or not he accompanied the two to the wisest man of the village they all went and repeated the same story to the wisest man in the village to their surprise the wisest man didn't laugh or disapprove the event he rather believed it was true when the people asked for an explanation he began to speak the big question here is in that how did he pull out his elder brother out of the well but rather how could he he threw in the bucket with the rope and when his brother had grabbed the bucket tightly he started pulling up the rope and saved his brother so this is the story which we all of us know that's easy how the matter of concern here is how could he do that when he clearly is too young to do such an act and then he paused took a little time to build up the anticipation of all who were listening to him and then spoke again when he looked around at the time of making a decision whether to save his brother or run for an help he saw no one till far far away to tell him that he couldn't do it to tell him he wasn't enough to save his brother who was the elder mightier heavier in fact he was so alone there that he couldn't even hear himself that he being smaller weak younger short heighted would not be able to do it he wouldn't even hear himself say that you can't do it so with no one to stop him or discourage him and with no voice from within 
himself that you can't do it he just went along and did it the question isn't how he did it it is how could he now always believe in yourself and fight against all odds only if you believe in yourself you definitely do it we'll always have people around us with reasons that we are not enough to do what we want to do or it is not the right time of that thing isn't meant for us at all and even worse we would have our own selves doubting our own abilities to do what it takes to succeed and triumph but we have to fight the battle against both the obstacles not once but more than once in order to achieve our greatest goals the key is to ask a simple question why and then answer that they give of you do or both hilarious and insightful for example if people come out and say i can't have a better future because i'm studying in an unpopular college maybe i should bother and ask why then if their reasoning is that their son or nephew whoever studied in a popular college and still struggles then i'd be a fool to accept that answer is valid and give up your son or nephew is a whole another person with a whole another life and certain circumstances so comparing me to him is totally irrelevant but sometimes people do give solid answers in reply to your this particular question and remember to not take those for granted sit with them for deeper analysis of their answers and come out with another option suppose if their answer was that your field isn't really complementary to your skills and passion no that may well be a solid reason why i would be in worse place in the future i might not have good grades or not like the job that i would be having then that answer could really be life changing for me so be sure not to pass on on those insightful answers and learn something from that but how to shut or rather alter the negative voices within you we have discussed the power and capability of our minds before and on being the slaves of our minds as well the point is to take control of the mind and rather use it to do what you want to do our minds like to play in safe and comfortable spots but that leads us to more and more missed opportunities in our lives we must make our minds to do and focus on what we want it to do as said before whether you believe you can or you believe you can't you are right so so is the case here make your mind believe that you can and work with it to accomplish your goals that's the key to shutting our own negative voices so that concludes the story of two brothers an inspirational story here and i hope you all have learned something important through this impactful story that would help you perform better next time when doubting yourself we would like you to remember this particular story as many people as possible and you can spread the story to as many people as possible because it has a very strong and vital message we are miserably bogged down by the negative energy that people around us are more often than not we ourselves emit and then take them as excuses to not do what we would like to do or we would have done before we would be back with another amazing stories like this until take care of yourself thank you